Lesson 8, Correct Posture and Safety Risks. At the end of this lesson, you should demonstrate correct posture and describe safety risks in computer use. The time we are living in is called the computer age. People are using computers like never before in the history of human beings. Most people spend many hours on computers to work, communicate, and for entertainment. Spending many hours on computers could be dangerous and harmful to our health. We need to break off at times to rest. If we don't rest, we may experience poor blood circulation and pain in the neck, shoulders, arms, hands, spine, and the lower back. The other problem is that you may experience headache and eye strain. If you spend many hours on the computer, you may also suffer from repetitive strain injury in the shoulders and wrists. This is a type of an injury where your muscles and tendons become stiff. Eventually, you experience pain when moving your arms and hands. Let's look at Lubuto and Wubile. They love working and playing with computers. Pay attention to their posture or the way they are seated as they use computers. Between the two, who is seated in the correct posture and why? Whenever you are using a computer, always ensure that your shoulders, arms, and hands are in relaxed position. Your thighs should be horizontal to the table or desk, and your feet should rest flat on the floor or footrest. Lastly, use a chair that has a back support and ensure that your eyes are at a reasonable distance away from the screen to protect them from excess light. Now, look at Luto's posture. Her legs are not positioned in one place, her back is not supported, and arms are not relaxed. Lastly, the eyes are closer to the screen. This is what is known as bad posture. You should not sit like this whenever you are using computers. To prevent injuries, always work where there is good lighting and adjust your computer brightness to avoid straining your eyes. You should also ensure that your posture is correct and lastly, break off at times and walk around to relax your brain and allow blood to flow evenly. What do you think about these cable connections? There are many things that may cause harm to you as you work with computers. Tangled cable connections may cause people to trip, fall, and hurt themselves. Exposed cables may also cause electric shock should anyone come into contact with them. The other thing is that if people keep on stepping and rolling chairs over exposed cables, cables may get damaged. Lastly, as people trip over tangled cables, it may cause data or information loss in the computer when power cables are suddenly pulled out of sockets. To avoid such accidents, you must keep cables tidy and away from where people walk. Use clips or tape to tie cables together or cover them with casings. Other things that may put users and computers at risk are liquids, dust, food, and magnets. Liquids like water, soft drinks, coffee, or tea may damage electronic devices and cause electric shock to you and other computer users. 
always keep fluids and food away from computers. Dust can also damage delicate parts inside the computer and it may disturb the cooling system of a computer if it accumulates around the vents. Dust can also damage the keyboard. Crumbs of food may leave oil marks on the computer to make it attract more dust and dirty. Food crumbs may damage the keyboard if they get stuck in between or under the keys. Lastly, do not put computers closer to magnets and devices that have magnets like loudspeakers. Magnets may erase data or information from magnetic storage media like hard drives. Revision exercise number one. Describe a good sitting posture that is recommended when you are using a computer. Number two. Mention and describe injuries that you may experience if you work longer hours on a computer without taking breaks. Number three, explain all safety risks involved in using computers and how you can avoid them. Summary. In this lesson, you learned about how to prevent injuries when using computers. You also learned about good sitting posture and safety risks involved in computer use and how to prevent them.